Hello! In this Thesis and Dissertation Services video, we're going to show you how to open the template, fill out the form, and unprotect the document so that you'll be able to use it to place your chapters. Start on our website at www.ohio.edu slash TAD. Under Valuable Information, you'll find a list of links including templates listed by college. On this page, you'll find all the templates that are available for, for use by students. The Word 2007 template is the one we'll look at today, but the Word 2003 templates are also available. If you have a copy of Word 2010, the Word 2007 templates will suffice for you. Word 2007 and Word 2010 are almost identical. I'm going to download the one for College of Fine Arts. After it downloads, you'll be able to open the zip file and then open the template. When you first open the document, you'll see this yellow box. This has some information about saving the document, reading through the sample chapters to learn how to unprotect the document, and how to use it properly. We'll start by filling in the form. The form fields in gray can be edited, and presently, in, um, in the protected mode, we cannot edit the text that is not in a gray field. So we'll start by typing in a sample title. If your title is very short, or less than a couple of lines, you'll notice that the yellow box now covers up that first drop-down box that was right here. Pressing the tab key will allow the outline to show, and then you can click on the drop-down and choose whether your document is a thesis or a dissertation. Pressing tab again will move down to the next field, and so on. And I'm moving around again just by pressing the tab key. When you type in your name, please be sure to use your first name, middle initial, and last name. This should be the name that's on file in the registrar's office for you. If you've changed your name, you'll want to correct that before you graduate, as the name on your thesis or dissertation and the name that appears on your diploma should match. Select the month and year of graduation. Please only choose from the list of what's available, as graduation in other months doesn't actually happen. Please fill in the copyright line. TAD Services recommends filling in the copyright line even if you don't intend to register your copyright. Keeping the copyright line in your document is advisable unless you've already sold your copyright to another publication or if your work is being funded and specifies that the uh, organization funding your work owns the copyright. Again, please type your title exactly as you did on page one. You don't want different copies of your title being on different pages. Filling in this field, first name, middle initial, and last name on page two, you can type in upper and lower case as you normally would. The field itself has been formatted so that once you exit the field, it automatically reformats itself into all caps. When you type your advisor's first name, middle initial, and last name, please do not include any degree acronyms or honorary titles. When you type their professional title, this should be their faculty title, including things such as professor, assistant professor, professor emeritus, and so on. Usually, the department name is included in the full title. The first field on the abstract is the only place where your last name should appear first, followed by a comma. Again, when I tab out of this field, it automatically makes everything in all capital letters for me. 
we'll choose our degree acronym, the month and year again. Make sure this matches the month and year chosen on the front page and the program name. When you type your title on the abstract page, please make sure that the underline remains. After you finish filling in the form, you still can't move through the rest of the document very freely. To be able to access the rest of the document and to put your own custom information in, you'll need to go to the Review tab up here in the ribbon and over to the far side where the Protect Document button is. The Protect Document button may have a slightly different name in Word 2010, but it still functions approximately the same way. When you click this button, you'll want to choose Restrict Formatting and Editing. This opens a sidebar, and there's a button in the bottom that says Stop Protection. The password box appears, and the password is always ETD in lowercase letters. This is the same password for all theses and dissertation templates. After you've entered the password, you can close the sidebar, remove the yellow box, and begin working in your template by placing in your own abstract if you've already typed it, or starting a new one. All of the areas in white are now accessible to you. We recommend other than the abstract information, really ignoring the first three pages as the requirements for the text are very specific. Best of luck.